All right, 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo joins us now live as Southern New England prepares for the bitter blast and to help those vulnerable to the dangerous conditions. Sheena. Well, Kate, right now we're live in Providence at the Cranston Street Armory Shelter. This is just one of many locations getting ready for a busy few days because it's not just going to be cold out. Experts warn these temperatures can be dangerous. As Rhode Island prepares for extremely cold temperatures, health officials have several important reminders. A big one, limit your time outside. We just want to keep people alive and nobody should be outside ever, but they should certainly not be outside on days like the coming days that we're going to be facing. And for anyone experiencing homelessness, Eileen Hayes from the Amos House wants to make sure the message is clear. The Cranston Street Armory Shelter is preparing to welcome anyone who comes through their doors. We will have food for folks and a warm place to sleep if they need it. We have cots for 200 folks. Um, and if they come in even after the 200, we'll make sure that they're getting in there and being safe. The armory, which is run by the Amos House, is open around the clock and hasn't closed since it first opened in December. Providence emergency management officials say these shelters, Crossroads, Providence Rescue Mission, and Emanuel House will also be open 24-7 from Friday morning to Sunday morning. Hayes says the main priority, as always, is keeping people safe. We feel very prepared for the whole weekend, yes. I mean, we've been averaging between 160 and 175 people there every day anyway, so it's not something that we're not used to doing. So we just want to make sure people get are safe and nobody gets into trouble. And uh, we're also prepared to treat wounds if people come in with frostbite. And the Rhode Island Health Department has a message for everyone. Right now is the time to dig out your gloves, hats, and scarves because by tonight and tomorrow, anytime you're outside, even if it's just a bit, they say you'll want to be covered up as much as you can. For now, we're live in Providence. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.